Okay, I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP on a Mac for free. And um, I had a few problems the first time I tried to do it. I got this uh, message saying that uh, I'm unable to load from disk. Press any key to reboot. Uh, it's because the disk that I had did not have the uh, formatting uh, feature on the disk. The next problem I got after I finally was able to get XP loaded onto the drive was um, you're supposed to put the install disk for uh, Mac OS X in and uh, XP is supposed to recognize this disk and load uh, boot camp drivers off of it. Well, Windows XP would not recognize it. I tried everything I could think of. I looked on several message boards and quite a few other people had the same problem. Finally came across this one guy that had uh, found the drivers, extracted them from the disk, and uh, he put a link up on the web and I was able to get a hold of him. And uh, I will uh, give you all the links in the uh, info on the video. So you'll be able to uh, hopefully get Windows XP on your Mac with a heck of a lot less headache than what I went through. Okay, so first step you want to do, um, you're going to need to download some software. Yeah. If you can't, if you don't have any um, software to download turns, you need to get, get uh, transmission, which I'll have a link in the description. So you want to go to transmission um, and click the download. After it's finished downloading, install it, of course. And then you want to go go to uh, this link that I'll give you. It's a torrent for uh, Windows XP, Service Pack 2. What you want to do is open transmission. Click download this torrent. What it does is it gives you a little desktop shortcut. Double click it. Opens the file. Select it. And click add. It takes a few seconds. It just has to find some peers and I'll start downloading. I'm not going to download it now because I've already downloaded it. next thing you want to do is download burn I'll give you a link to this as well just click this green download burn button it'll start shortly there it goes after that's downloaded Install it, of course. I don't have it here. There we go. I'm going to open up Burn. Okay. And almost one of the first time it loads, it'll be on data, and you want to click on Copy. Now that you have Windows XP. Uh, downloaded. What you want to do is open this folder and it'll have this file inside of it. Since I didn't finish downloading, it's not going to be on there. But it will be on yours. Anyway, it's the uh, ISO file. What you want to do is click Open and Burn. Uh, select Desktop, scroll down, find the ISO file, click Open. Uh, 
insert a CD minus R. It'll pop up and then all the finder thing will come up and ask you what do you want done with this disk. Just click uh, open or OK or something like that. I can't remember. And then uh, what you want to do is click burn. And it'll burn it to the CD. After that's finished, or while that's burning, you want to click on um, the link that I provide you in the description of the video. It'll be the uh, boot camp drivers. It's a direct link, so as soon as you click it, it'll start downloading. And after it's downloaded, it'll be a zip file. You'll double click it, unzip it, and it'll look like this. Boot camp drivers. What I want to do is after the Windows XP is finished, put in a brand new CDR, CD minus R. Um, double, double click the uh, icon. Oh, I should have taken that out of there. That won't be in there on yours. Anyways, you want to drag this in there and click burn. And after that's done, you want to label your two disks, and then you'll have your drivers and Windows XP install disk. Okay, be sure to watch uh, part two of this video. I'll show you all the steps of installing Windows XP on the Mac.